Does the story that you're telling, does it pay you a dividend or is it charging you interest? Stick with me, friends, as we walk through this. Welcome back. My name is Leanne Wolf, your human design professional and your BG5 business and career consultant. So I want to chat today about stories. So as you see going across the bottom of the screen, stories really are your magic. However, there's a couple things that can be going on here. Are the stories that <laughs> are going through your mind, the stories that you tell people, are they actually charging you interest? Now, what does that mean? Well, a few things can be happening. What does that inner chatter say about you? Has it created this narrative, this voice that is always resisting and creating resistance in your life? So here's an example, okay? Like this is a very mundane example, but I've seen it happen. So children who touch a stove, right? We're all told the, hot, the stove is hot, don't touch it. The stove is hot, don't touch it. What does a two-year-old know about this? Nothing. What is a three-year-old? Nothing. Until we have the experience and actually feel it in our physical bodies, it's kind of a foreign concept. Like, what do you mean by hot? Because we're trying to always keep our children safe. Well, for the most part, we are anyways. And that hotness... So we touch the stove, right? We touch the stove because we want to experience it. And in a few seconds, you know, the brain has this, ooh, that's hot, it hurts. There's pain there. And, you know, the skin starts to have a response to that touching that, that hotness. However, there's a lot more going on. So the physical body is moving through this process but it's the outside environment. So for example, one mom freaks out, starts screaming, is totally angry. I told you not to do that and creates this environment of anger. Okay, scenario number one. Scenario number two, Mom's really nervous. She's anxious. She starts to cry. She's like, oh my God, I got to get you to the hospital. I'm so scared. And then there's all kinds of fear, anxiety, nervousness there. Ah, okay. Scenario number two. Scenario number three, there's no one there. There's no one there to help you. You feel the pain. You feel all alone. You feel abandoned in the situation. You have no idea what to do. Scenario number three. All three of those causes, it was the hand on the stove. That's what caused all of this. It was curiosity, really, which curiosity isn't a bad thing. However, the actual problem that gets placed into the mind is what goes on in our environment. So these three different children end up relating hot experiences. One goes to anger, one goes to anxiety and fear, and the other one goes to feeling abandonment. Do you get me here? Do you get me? That internal conversation is that, ah, this is a hot situation. There's anxiety, worry, and all of a sudden there's fear, and that fear creates an absolute freeze moment. Or there's a whole shit ton of anger, and it's like, I'm going to fight. This is hot. I'm fighting. And the narrative inside the head operates that way. Or the abandoned person is... I'm just going to faint. I'm just going to just leave it. I don't know what to do. I can't take any action because I don't, I'm not equipped. 
So all of these things go on and create this narrative. Are you grabbing me here, guys? Are you grabbing this? So watch what your inner chatter is saying about you. Now, here's what's really interesting is that your physical body is going to leave you clues. Your physical body is going to leave you clues as to what was that emotion that was stored based off of the experience. So maybe you're, you got some knee pain. Maybe you got dandruff. Maybe you have some skin issues. Maybe, just maybe, you're walking through, you know, cardiovascular issues. Maybe there's something going on with the lungs. The physical body provides us with clues. And I, I'm, I don't have anything linked below, but look at people like Louise Hay, How to Heal Your Body. Go into the deeper aspects. What are the clues that your physical body is providing you? Then you can, you know, go backwards. You can reverse engineer. Is this story charging me interest? Yeah, it's charging you interest because mentally there's a narrative there. And then physically there's something going on. That is the interest. That's the interest I would like you to dive deep into. What is the emotion that is charging me interest every day that is holding me back from my greatness, from my magic, okay? That's what I'd love you to do. Now, on the flip side of this, where we want to get to, where we want to go to is, does the story pay you a dividend? What do I mean by that? How does this story provide you with an, a, an enormous amount of wisdom and then how are you representing that wisdom in the world? How are you representing that wisdom in the world? So, you know, again, I use human design in absolutely all of my coaching. Because where I want to get to is I want to get into that open area. Okay, I want to get in there when we're talking about this subject. I want to go in there and I want to get you to extrapolate out of there. What is the interest that this is charging me and how can I create a dividend out of this? How do I create a dividend out of this? What's defined in you, that really is what, you know, you're modeling to the world. That's what you're modeling to the world. However, it is the experience of the environment that will either charge you interest or pay you a dividend. That's how this operates. Okay, so I want you to extrapolate the wisdom of every experience, the wisdom. What I also really want you to understand is that support in processes such as this is so, so important. If you don't reach out to me for support, you know, reach out to someone for support. And what I really need you to do Okay, I need you to begin to notice these things. What is the story holding me back from? That is how you are charged interest. What is the story moving me towards? That, my friend, is the dividend and the wisdom. So what's today's homework going to be? Today's homework is going to be what Am I willing and able to notice about whatever the experience was in the past? What am I willing and able to notice? Because again, we think that the problem is one thing, but the problem always has a deeper cause to it. Again, we think that, you know, we have this, the problem is the fear. For example, in example number two that I used of the child, that there, there's anxiety and fear there. We think that that's the problem. But the actual cause of it was touching the stove. So how do we go back to that cause and reverse engineer so that it can pay you a dividend instead of charging you interest with a body that is not well, a mind that is not well? 
That, my friend, is how we take the subconscious mind from being a foe and we move it into being an ally. So I would love to support you in these processes. So please go below, book a discovery call. Let's begin this process. This is what I get to do for people every day all over the world. Let's go deep. You want to operate a business. You want to operate a business? You want to be an entrepreneur? You need to have the courage to go to these places. Because if you don't have the courage to go to these places, you'll always be playing on the surface. And this is what I notice in the business world. The business world, the old way of doing business, ah, they got a problem, let's just throw a Band-Aid solution on it. Another $97 program, uh, we'll just sit here and just feed them what they need to be fed. Or you get to actually go to the cause of it. You get to go deep. You get to really extrapolate the magic of your story. So he here's some fun, okay? We all have a story. We all have a story. And the fun is really getting to the heart of it so that it pays you a dividend. All right, friends, until next time, have fun with the homework. Drop below, book a call, get in my programs because you want to be the magic of your story. I can feel it. I know it. I know it deep in my cellular structure. You're not here just to be here. You're here because you want transformation. You want transformation in your life. Let's get you there. All right, friends, take care.